Here we are again in Violin. Today we're going to build the bakery with Minecraft Conquest Reforged and tell the story of the baker. The truth is that although the baker lives a happy productive life now, this was not always the case. He used to work in a bakery in Soror for another baker and ended up getting married. He was smitten by her beauty and she was hopeful of his potential. Things between them started out well enough, but she was always pushing him to go into business for himself. Unfortunately, it became apparent early on that he lacked the courage to do so, and their marriage became one of obligation to the children that they'd had. His wife eventually started to berate him for being lazy and not wanting to work for his family. Under her constant scorn and feeling helplessly trapped, the baker eventually turned to drink to drown his sorrows and became what she had accused him of. The inevitable happened and they became destitute. She kicked him out of their house and he was living on the streets. He still worked at the bakery when he could gather his wits enough to stand and his employer felt sorry for the man so he allowed the baker to lend an extra hand when he could. It was one of these moments in the bakery that saved the baker's life. As he was kneading some dough, he spilt a mug of cheap swill made from the waste product of stem nectar onto the dough. He was either too drunk to notice it at the time or too inebriated to care, so he baked the dough anyway. What came out was a loaf of bread nicer than anyone had ever tasted. The baker knew that he had burned too many bridges in Soror with his drunken behaviour but his discovery was too good to let it go to waste. So the baker decided to move to Violin, the source of stem nectar, and attempt to set up shop. He packed a loaf of his new sulker bread, the fruit that is the foundation of stem nectar, and made his way to Violin. During his trip, he got friendly with a merchant that was traveling in the same direction. He gave the man a taste of his bread, and just like that, he had a financial backer. 50-50 split, but only the baker was to know the secret behind the bread. Once he arrived in town, he purchased an older house from the local magistrate, set up his oven, and proceeded to start making the amazing bread. Soon business was booming, and he was busier than he could imagine. The baker had found his joy again, and without even noticing that it had happened, the man had stopped drinking. He still had a thirst for it from time to time, but he was simply too busy to partake and realised it wasn't worth it. The baker was now making enough silver to send some back home to his wife and family, which he did so with letters talking about his newfound motivation and his redemption. The merchant he had made a deal with would come around from time to time to pick up his part of the investment and was always satisfied with the mutually beneficial arrangement. The baker thought that he may have to start experimenting with other alcoholic brews in his bread to see the effect. If a waste product like the swill from stem nectar could make bread taste so good, then maybe there was other little tricks he could uncover. After a few months of his business being opened, the baker was sitting at his little table in his very humble but cosy house thinking of a new bread recipe when he received a letter. The Soror Post had made a special trip all the way to Violin to deliver it. When he opened the letter, he could tell that it was from his estranged wife. Not only because of the penmanship, but the waft of perfume that could be smelt on the paper. He remembered that smell from the time he could afford to buy her perfumes. All that was written on the paper was a small paragraph that read, Thank you. We are proud. And we are coming to visit. Alright guys, here we are back in Violin. Before we get started with the tour of the bakery, I would love it if you guys could comment down below what you think the sulker bread should be called. We're not going to call it sulker bread because that would give away what's actually in it, his secret ingredient. So we need a different name for this special bread that has been the baker's redemption. So if you could leave your answers in the comments below, that would be amazing. Let's get into the little walkthrough and, and have a bit of a look around at what we've created today. Only a couple of smaller buildings, but a lot of field work here. We've got the germinating plant that they would make the brew out of, the stem nectar. They harvest the sulcal fruit and after they have, they leave the plant to re-germinate and then they harvest the stems that are re-growing within the plant. They can grow a second sulcal fruit, 
but it doesn't taste very nice so it's much more productive to harvest the stems that are growing and then we're going to eventually build a distillery for that product. Down here we've got a small storage area for tools and things like that. Just got a little workstation here. They would be prepping for harvest. They wouldn't be quite ready to harvest the stems yet, but they would be prepping for it. And if we come into the garage, we've got a little bit of storage here. I love the use of the Victory Mod tables here as shelves. I think that looks really effective. All right, as we come down to the bakery, we're going to be able to see where the baker lives and works. It's all in the same building. We've got a pretty humble quarters here with just a little bed, storage area for clothes and things like that. And here's where the magic happens in here. We've got the big oven that pretty much dominates his, his existence. He's got his bread sitting out on the sill there, cooling down. His bread's cooling down out there. And we've got a, the sulk of fruit and more sort of little rolls here that he's been making. So he's starting to make desserts, which would have been a pretty rare thing back in the day. As we come out here, we can see this is his stall. So the future plans for violin, this is actually going to be a market square. And he wouldn't bother having his own stall in this space when he is so close. People would actually come to the baker. People need bread, so they would just come to see him directly. And you can see the combination of Victory Mod blocks and Conquest blocks here really does create a fantastic atmosphere. The build really adds to the environment of Violin if we get a good shot here. All right, that's it for the video. If you've made it this far in, please, you guys know what to do. Drop a like on the video, share the video, uh, comment. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, it helps out massively. And we'll catch you guys later.